The pardon power has been abused historically by presidents to assist friends and family members. That included Bill Clinton, who pardoned his half-brother. Uh, I think that what you've seen with people like Clinton is they waited till they were literally leaving office to use that power for personal purposes. And I would not expect that the president could pardon his son and stand for re-election. Saying that and supporting Donald Trump is a level of cognitive dissonance that that should make you feel sick just saying it. Makes me feel sick hearing it. I mean, they support Donald Trump, a man who pardoned Steve Bannon, all of his friends, a convicted pedophile. I mean, come on, how are you going to bring up Bill Clinton and not the last guy who was literally just in office and deeply abused the power of the pardon? And I'll say, Joe Biden is not going to pardon Hunter. I don't think they actually believe that for a second, but come on. <laughs> so, you know, if Joe Biden did pardon Hunter, it'd be an uphill battle to explain his actions. CNN said a 55% majority of the public says the president has acted inappropriately regarding the investigation into Hunter Biden over potential crimes, while 44% say that he has acted appropriately and was. I don't think that the people who responded to this poll genuinely have any idea what Joe Biden has had, if he's had any involvement in the investigation of Hunter Biden. Because I mean, you know, we do the news, right? We've been reporting on this. I don't understand what would be the inappropriate, you know, interference that Joe Biden has has done in in the prosecution of Hunter Biden. It's it's kind of mind boggling um, trying to wrap your head around this. First, to get back to the pardon question, um, Joe Biden pardoned his son. I feel like ninety nine percent of Americans would be like, "Well, it is his freaking son." <laughs> um, however, if if we really got into the pardoning, like Donald Trump was just selling. His pardons. Um, the, uh, rap fans who are watching the show will remember Kodak Black <laughs> got pardoned by Donald Trump. Little Wayne got pardoned by Donald Trump. Like he was literally just selling them to people um, who could get in touch with his team. Uh, I, I don't see how that's somehow less corrupt. <laughs> Than a guy pardoning his pardoning his son for you know being addicted to illicit drugs and just owning a gun. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I think that's a little bit better than actually installing your kid and her freaking husband um, in your damn administration and having these people actually do negotiations with major partners like Saudi Arabia and Israel. I mean, give me a freaking break here with the idea of a president and his kids and, and misbehaviors. This is nuts. Jared Kushner, as soon as he leaves the White House, he gets like hundreds of millions of dollars of funding from some Saudi fund. Like, this, like what are we doing here um, when we're talking about corruption? Uh, yeah, and you know, again, if, if, if Joe Biden decided that he wanted to pardon his kid, I don't think anybody would bat an eye, especially for this specific offense. Right, and just to that point, Donald Trump has been floating the idea of pardoning himself. So, like, <laughs> how is this your attack on Joe Biden? But I think you make a really good point because you know something I've been saying is I think the Republicans are severely, you know, they're severely miscalculating with focusing, you know, all their attacks on Joe with. Hunter, I've said that very familiarly. Joe Biden and I aren't friends, maybe I should <laughs> refer to him just as Joe. But I think that they're severely miscalculating because I think they failed to realize if, you know, inexplicably, because I'm sure that this is something that a lot of them experience. People have members of their family that struggle with addiction. Most people know someone who struggled with addiction, and that is. You know, a horrible thing to go through as the individual struggling with it, but also as the family of that person. And I think Joe Biden has just shown throughout this whole process that he's been a very supportive father to Hunter Biden. And every time they try to attack him for loving his son despite his shortcomings, they only serve to make him look better and just remind us all that Donald Trump 
hates his kids. I mean, so what I would say is, again, if we're gonna go down this road, I think the most legitimate criticism, um, legitimately shady thing about the Hunter Biden situation was this idea that he got these jobs within the private sector, um, basically based off of being Joe Biden's kid. Mm -hmm. And that is shady, that's borderline corrupt, we can be honest about that. But then you gotta talk about Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump and their jobs, official jobs in the US government simply because they were Donald Trump's kid and um, you know, kid, um, son-in-law. Like, what are we doing here? Like, this is nuts. Right, I mean, what the hell does Jared Kushner know about the Middle East in the first place? And now every time he wants to you know, offload one of his properties, wouldn't you know some <laughs> random Saudi royal family family member is buying that up immediately. Like the corruption is happening <laughs> right before our very eyes. Yeah. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.